So, ladies and gents, we're here game five, and this is the first game that I'm actually starting from the very beginning. Um, when I woke up today, I watched the first game as I was drinking my coffee, eating my breakfast, uh, but was not casting that one. And that was an Islands game, and Ganji won that one, which means he's been undefeated on Islands so far. He's played really good on Islands against Ozone as well. Ended up winning uh, both those games with Dravidians, by the way, against Italians, so that might give you something to think about in terms of the islands pecking order. And then we we moved on. We covered another series. We covered Andy and Sebastian, which small spoilers here, but uh, I know people are just getting here. And, you know, it's it's kind of how the qualifier goes. There's games all the time. Uh, Sebastian made pretty quick work of freaking Andy. Sebastian did win in that series. And then this series was still going. And Veleza is the favorite. Veleza is a player who's in... Previous Hidden Cups, he's super consistent. He's always a player that you just expect to be there. And now we are here in game number five. So he's playing as the Persians. And then we've got Ganji playing as the Japanese. This map is incredibly difficult to play. The wood is hard to, hard to find at the top of your hill or outside of your TC. You've got berries to protect. And uh, eventually moving around to find golds and stones and whatnot is kind of a difficult task as well. I would not expect that we are going to see uh, demos in the middle right away, but eventually demos or any type of navy could play a role towards the middle. It's just players would have to go to gold to make many more ships. And how you spend your wood is really important in the early game. Yeah, Ozone's in chat. Ozone played against Ganji on this map with Japanese and won. Now Ozone, come on, buddy. He said, so he liked my Japanese, huh? 11. Ozone... Who mentioned Japanese to you? Come on, buddy. Sorry, chat. Give me a second. It's going to be great commentary. Ozone? Who said Japanese on Mudflow? Who said it? Don't you go leave now to go get 2k5 or something. Who said it? He's booing me. I mean, I'm not saying that Ozone doesn't have a thought, you know, didn't think of it himself. That's a weak villager. Also, that's a... Okay, so I just noticed there was a tiger there. It's actually really rare. I don't know if we should have them out there. Okay, so there's one there. Well, that, I'm really happy that the villager didn't end up getting sniped there because of the tiger. It's, it's actually something I have to look at. I'm not a fan. If players are going to be bringing vills out here, I do not want tigers to be there. But it doesn't end up affecting anything here as Veleza just kind of walling up the choke. Interesting. Interesting. Well, walls this up. And then protects this middle area pretty much if he wants to. They're very close to each other here, right? Almost feels like a tower behind the wood line for Ganji. Could be awkward for him. But he is Japanese, so he's got cheap lumber camps, cheap mills, and cheap mining camps. <clears throat> Ozen didn't say anything. It was me. I mean, I mentioned it to him, but again, it's not like it's not like the most it's not the craziest thought. I want to explain the logic of Japanese though. <coughs> the logic of Japanese here. Is that you're always going double mill, so you have savings there. Possibly double lumber camp, and maybe even triple if you have to relocate, so you have savings there. This oftentimes becomes a scout map into spears, and Japanese spears attack faster. And you might even need more mills to expand your farming eco later. So the civilizations we've seen, like Japanese, for example, uh, or sorry, like uh, Magyars, for example, Franks, I feel like Japanese face off pretty nicely, and I think the thinking is heavy spear play into something like Cav Archers could actually end up working out later on. And a lot of people feel as though as we have gold for Ganji, hold the phone. I think a lot of people also feel like they they can't play knights with Japanese because of the long term. Uh, but you can get fully upgraded knights with the Japanese in Castle Age. And we have not seen many games on this map go to Imp. So Castle Age knights could still be good. Yeah, Romans was played on this once or twice. I've been a little surprised by the lack of Romans so far. But main event will have a bit more Civ variety. A bit more maps to be played. This is kind of a weird lumber camp for Ganji. The wood lines on this map can definitely be awkward, but... He's going to try Man at Arms right now. Game number five. 
Now, Veleza saw the barracks. Now he sees the gold. I think this should be enough to let him know that man-at-arms could be coming. But I think he expected it anyways. He pre-walled his berries. And then he's also pre-walled his wood. In a very unique way. He actually has walled his wood out from ships very nicely. And usually, your opponent can tower the other side of your wood line. But it's unrealistic that Ganji will ever go over here. So there's the stable for Veleza. Big, big moment here, guys. Veleza, it, I think, would be the favorite against MBL or Kapoch if he wins. Would be interesting. If Ganji wins this, can you say that the guy who beat Veleza is the favorite against MBL or Kapoch, whoever they end up against in the group? I don't know how you look at that. A scout there from Veleza applying pressure. But not really able to do too much. He's being annoying right now. And the man-at-arm upgrade is going to be in for Ganji. So Ganji probably would have wanted to find more damage. And he sees these villagers come over to these berries. And so he's going to head over. And he's going to try and hit those berries. But that scout gets poked. I think he was distracted here by this scout. And yep, he absolutely was. And <laughs> it's funny, I think... I don't know if Leza realized that was happening. I think they're both looking here right now, trying to protect this. And this is mud flow for you. And this is why we freaked out about this being game number five. Because all of the, uh, like, the action is just so difficult to follow. And a villager got sniped there just in the last moment there. 3-0 KD for Ganji. So he killed the scout, he killed the villager, and he killed the spearman. And now, he has some spearmen at home. From the scouts coming over here from Ganji. Having said that, he adds his own stable. He doesn't go for an archer follow-up, and he's going to go into scouts now himself. Very interesting. I would say that big walling this wood line would be really nice for Ganji's future. And there's an archer range for Veleza, and he heads over to gold, because he needs something to deal with all the infantry that's out there. And these are Japanese man-at-arms with the hill. So they're, they're shredding that house. Actually, I think the house will go down. Is it going to go down the two repair vills? Japanese! Japanese! House down! And I don't know if the vill block can happen. Uh, he tries, but still, that's really nice damage anyways. And actually, that house is Veleza. Oh, God. He can't produce anything right now. He did end up killing the scout finally. But such a sick play here from Ganji. Hasn't collected quite as many resources, but I'm liking the way his eco's set up. Has the double berries locked down. Has the farms already. And now has scouts on the way. And now the man-at-arms are attacking the gate even. Crazy game. And Ganji is... He's not a new player. No one who's made it to round three is. He's been around the scene for a long time, but he's been getting better and better. He's a player who trains a lot. Leza, though, it would be another shock in this qualifier to not have a player like him in the main event. Can he step it up a bit here after a kind of a rough start? Villager goes down. That's the second villager he lost. Can he recover? Nice snipes there from Ganji. I think on, on a more closed map, you kind of get picky and you say, well, I shouldn't have lost that scout HP. The scout HP is important. On this map, man, you just, you want as many vill picks as possible. It's going to be messy. No one can play this perfect. So you, you just prepare to make more army anyways. So it looks like Ganji almost wants like kind of a full wall here. Okay, this could be the point in the game where we see a dock, guys. Because everyone is starting to venture out over this terrain. And they both have lumberjacks there. I love the value Ganji's gotten from the man-at-arms. He only killed one unit, but he's really controlled a lot of the game. And now he sends more scouts over this way. And there's actually no spearmen here. If this was four scouts, it could be horrible. It is just two, but there is a villager there for Veleza. Almost feels like he built that house more for vision than anything in the long run, which I don't mind. But that should be a dead vill. Oh, man. He actually was able to save it. Pulls it in there. But, of course, I think Ganji's distracted elsewhere. Look at all the villagers moving around. And, <laughs> I mean, it's just so awkward right now. Where does Veleza send these resources? 
uh, see these villagers. Like, what resources does he send these villagers to? Ganji's gonna get a third villager kill. Still hasn't lost one. Still hasn't even lost the man at arms, but I think he's gonna lose one to the tiger. Yeah, he's gonna lose one to the tiger here in a second. Tiger on Velez's side. Spearman Archer could be really annoying to engage against. They make it to the wood line. There's a weak villager here from earlier. No more tigers. Villagers run away. Man at arms scouts. They want to engage, but you cannot engage against those spearmen. And Ganji's distracted right now. And Velez's army counts looking pretty nice. And he's always known, been known to get really good value from low numbers of military. And that's what he's doing right now. This will be cleared up, though. The archer should be able to take the spears. Oh, the micro's been awkward. I think that's pretty good for Veleza, guys. Res collected, still really close. Walls for Ganji starting to go down. Wood eco. Maybe a concern for, for Ganji. And we got a dock. We have a dock sighting. Will we have demos? Dude, that, I mean, actually, kind of an interesting thing. This reed might be blocking ships from passing through here. It would have to be chopped and built over. But just looking at this, I'm not sure if you can pass ships on this little sand. Usually most water maps allow the ship to go up onto the sand. We'll find out soon, depending on what direction he sends that demo. More scouts from Ganji, even bloodlines now. This is not a surprise to anybody. Good hits from Veleza, but the scouts are in higher number for Ganji and will soon have more upgrades. Walls for Veleza will also go down. I want to check the farming eco real quick. So berries are obviously still there just with one vill. We've got 13 farms against 14 farms. But no eco upgrades for Ganji. None. I mean, it, it's understandable to not have horse collar in the early stages. And, oh, actually, he, he just double-checks that. So that, that must mean he realized off in the back of the man-at-arm build. He didn't have that, and he's going to get that now. He did not hear me, guys. We've got a spec delay here. <laughs> no double bid X, and then he clicks double bid X. It's a little sus. Oh, God, here goes the demo. Here goes the demo. Will Ganji realize this? Ganji's distracted. Demos on Mudflow have ruined people. And Veleza wants the big, big boom. He's going in, Ganji! God, he spread him out. Well, he knows. He figured it out, guys. He, uh, uh. Oh, still three villagers dead. And then here we actually had a, a really good engagement for Ganji at the same time, though. So the eco KD is three to three. Ganji will know there's a dock up there, so there could be another demo. And he doesn't expect it to be here now, but he got the walls down. And the fight continues. And who's going to win this fight? I think Ganji wins this fight. Uh, Ganji wins this fight. And yes, the demo hit. And yes, the other demo can loop around. And this could be massive. But a tower's been forced down from Veleza. And Veleza could be in... He could have terrible problems here if these scouts and archers get into the back of Zico. Another villager goes down. The demo, though. No way. No way. No way. No way. Ganji has the lead. Ganji can maintain the lead as long as he doesn't lose Vils. No! Ganji loses so much more! And you might be like, T90, why is he not looking? Because he's looking at this! Because he's killing this! He thought it was completely walled there. And at one of these moments, he's just going to look back to that woodline and realize he's basically got nothing there. And these scouts, they, they can't meet up with these archers because this is completely walled. It looks like there's a hole. Eco KD is still really close. And, uh, yeah, Ganji's gonna wall this up now, so now the demos can't get to the woodline anymore. Without those demos, Veleza might be dead. He still hasn't clicked up. This would be a huge storyline. Guys, it was one of the Red Bull qualifiers. Ganji beat Jordan. Jordan, another player who, you know, is always seen as a player who's just expected to be there, right? A much bigger name. So he's beaten players in qualifiers before. He, he hasn't qualified... Like, had that big run to really make it the whole way. But he's playing amazing. Vleza still isn't clicked up. His res collected still looking really good. His wood situation still really good. He has a galley behind the wood line now. And Ganji's has to force the tower down. Let's see what Ganji can do in Castle Age. 
Dang. So, from what I'm seeing, I think Ganji is actually going to struggle to afford things in Castle Age here. He's going to go Cav Archers, which I think is a good option. But his eco is not very efficient. And it's not like he has crazy food eco. He's got lots of stone, which may or may not be helpful. Les is going to make the most awkward walls of all time. But he is going to be walled. And, uh, well, I guess Wood's still a concern for him. Maybe he needs to maybe drop a tower down there, but... I think he's kind of okay for now. Doc for Ganji as well now, but Wood is the concern. Res Collected's not going to be higher for Ganji or anything. It's just because of how many workers Veleza has and how efficiently they're working. In fact, I can just toggle over to worker efficiency. It's actually higher for Ganji, funnily enough. And I'm just makes me look like an idiot, so let's just not show that. But uh, I think you guys can see it, right? Things have been fairly inefficient for Ganji at times. He is going to drop a TC here. Which will protect the wood and the stone. And if, if Veleza were to see that, he actually could use the galleys and kill quite a few villagers there. But he's distracted. Cav archers. Almost get a kill. And tower goes up for Veleza. Who must be so worried right now that he's about to go down. So, audience who probably has never played a competitive tournament in their life, please give me insights into the mindset of players who play competitive tournaments all the time, okay? Hear me out. So, in this qualifier, if you lose this best of five, you're out, okay? But if you win this, and then you make it to the next best of seven, and then you lose that, you actually have a second chance in another best of seven, against other players who lost the best of seven. So my question is, as we see a demo coming in and Ganji's trying to split up his cab archers, that was actually very well played. My question is, do you feel more pressure in this best of five than you do in the next best of seven? Because at least in the next best of seven, you have a second chance? What do you think? I think there's an argument to be made that you feel more pressure here because this is more brutal. Hmm. Crossbow. And occasional ships here for Veleza. And it is Cav Archers and the occasional ships then for Ganji. Should mention, though, with ranged units, Japanese, they're definitely going to come out on top. Persians typically want to be on Cav. Yeah, my feeling is maybe in some ways you feel more pressure here. These Cav Archers have to be careful. Look at the look how interesting the middle is. They're choke points, walls. They're both so scared of random demos now. Oh, Cav Archers made it through into the back of Velez's base. Ganji. He's gonna disrupt all this farming eco. That's brutal. Just two Cav Archers. He hasn't killed anything with it yet. That is definitely gonna be annoying. Knight comes over here though. Should be able to clear this up. Nice job from Veleza not to lose too much. Looks like he just lost one Vil. Really like this TC. It gives you wood, but it gives you that gold. And it allows you to expand your farms, too. That's a really good town center. And I also really like the walls from Ganji to protect this town center and protect the areas of wood. Because I don't think this game is going to end anytime soon. I think this could actually go to Imp. Feels pretty crazy to say that. The Cav Archers from Ganji moving around. The res collected is close. The KD is close. KD would pretty much be even if it wasn't for that Tiger earlier in the game. And then TC number three for Vleza. And we're probably not too far away from the third town center from Ganji either. But he needs gold right now, actually. So he would probably look... Oh, he doesn't see it? This happened when he played against Ozone as well. He sees that gold, but he should know that there's gold. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he didn't want to wait for it. But honestly, if he just would have had the vision on that gold, that TC would be perfect there. So it's just because he didn't have the scalding. He didn't want to wait. And now he sees the gold. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It still protects the area. He still finds the gold now, which is what he wanted more than anything. But he falls back home with the Cav Archers. And this gives Veleza time. Veleza, with this time, can expand his eco. I would, I, I really think at this point it becomes Cav Archers on the sides of the map, like the grass terrain, and it becomes ships in the middle. 
Like, I, I would love to see the War Galley upgrades. And I think we might even see a castle at some stage here from Ganji. He's really heavy on stone. And Veleza will see that. Veleza might be really paranoid of this area. Yeah, look at that. I think he looked at the stone, guys. And he says, oh, he can castle drop me here if he deletes his walls. So he is now walling behind, so his opponent can't delete the walls and run in. It has a demo waiting over here. He's hiding it from Ganji. There's the demo. Ganji, that's so smart. That is not the first time that Ganji has seen a demo and split up his units or been happy to sacrifice just one unit for a demo. And now he feels like he can move out here. And this villager is going to try and wall the choke. It is not completely walled. In fact, this piece of wall is actually just 5 HP, and Ganji's attacking the wall piece. The Siege Workshop goes up, he can't get through, and so he's just going to drop a castle there. Really smart. I think if you try and, like, walk around for the killer castle, by the time you get there, your opponent has a demo or something that could hurt you. And this castle still gives you lots of protection over the stone and the wood, which is really what you want. Just some knights here from Beleza, but those knights are going to get picked off by the Cav Archers. And again, that's the concern. And the demo just backs away into the shadows. Cav Archers camping here. It seems like it's more of a rally point than anything, but look at the gold situation. Yeah, like, Beleza will run out of gold after this gold pile. He does not have... Is this gold? He doesn't have that locked down. Ganji has this gold available in the back, which he did scout by now. He's got the more side golds. I mean, side golds are really valuable. But I think Ganji was just kind of like, that's where his rally point was set. I don't think he's just going to, he's not going to just sit his units there forever. And look at this unfortunate timing. Had he just sat there, this would have been epic. But of course, he wants to move with his units all the time. And well, is he headed back to the gold? Kind of feels like he might want to go this way. These cav archers are over here. These cav... Oh, man. That TC is going to go up. That is so unfortunate for Kanji. It really is. But still, he's got such a good position right now. And these cav archers are going to die. We have a tower for Veleza. Double tower stack in his farming eco right now. Over here. Seems like that siege workshop will go down. Which could allow some pressure through that area again. These cav archers are, for now, just idling the farms. We have guard tower for Ganji. Amazing for the Japanese. Ganji, 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 Ganji! Boom! Ganji gets wrecked! You have to be careful with the middle. And he knows he's been hit because he sees it now. And, oh, man, Veleza just waiting there so patiently with that demo. And again, someone makes the mistake. You gotta be so careful. And, guys, the TC... We talked about the TC on the golds, not seeing the golds. Uh, will, will finding the gold be the difference? Velezo has been able to get to his gold. And and now he's killed the villagers from Ganji on the gold after killing the units there with the demo. Still, though, the cav archers here were annoying. You've got uh, Yasama coming in right now for Ganji as he wants to make more towers. And, man, what a game. What a crazy game. Eco's there for Veleza. I still just don't know what his plan is right now. What's he going to make? Apparently, the answer is a few skirms and, and pretty much nothing else. Maybe he wants Imp right now. Ganji's going to now sit underneath this tower. That is so smart, man. He knew this tower would be idle. He knows the towers aren't close to each other. And he knew there would be farmers here. Tower number one coming up. This is He researched the guard tower upgrade. Yasama means these towers will fire more arrows. He makes a gate over here. Another TC on another gold for him. He will lose those Cav Archers. But if, if Veleza can get the perfect castle to be able to make Trebs, and of course just hold against these Cav Archers for now, I think I might prefer his position. It's it's really close, but like he can I think Veleza can defend his main eco. With skirms and ships. Oh my god, not again, not again, not again, not again! Boom! No way, Ganji! Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, again, like I said, Cav Archers on the grass and then Navy on the water. <laughs> There's a reason I said this. Um, 
But yeah, like if this castle goes up, it will shoot down one of the towers. Then you could have Trebs to take down the rest of the towers. Take out this castle. Take out the walls. On land, there's really not anything pressuring Velez's eco. And I think Velez is going to have a lot of time to think about maybe raiding. And I think I prefer Velez's position. Ganji's eco is starting to expand, right? Right? He's, he's really starting to crank that up a bit. He might even pass his opponent with Vils. But how many of his Vils have just been building towers that are simply just going to be taken out by Siege here over the next few moments? And Ganji's really loving these towers, though. There's a gate. I don't know if that'll do much, but he wants a tower on this wood line still. But you can't tower all the wood, right? The, the wood's always going to be out there. There's even wood on the outer ring as well. So it's not like just denying the wood is can be your only strat here. Does seem like this tower is going to go up, though, which is really nice. I like what Ganji's done here. Like, that's going to be annoying. I mean, I say you can't tower all the wood. Look at the wood. <laughs> actually, <laughs> it's pretty rough. And actually, he's towering this gold. Ooh, wait a second. The gold interests me. The wood, not so much. But the gold situation we touched on before, and that's pretty big. And he can't get Trebs over here easily either. Whereas, like, obviously over here, the Trebs are going to come out. Hmm. And Cav Archers run through again. Cav Archers get killed. Veleza's an imp. Veleza, the favorite in this series. There are a lot of people here who uh, were, were questioning Veleza. Like, uh, Veleza used to be so good. Veleza used to be so that. Maybe not seeing all the games, not realizing how good Ganji is and how good he's played. And how, you know, the scene as a whole. There, there's been players who've stepped it up. More and more farms here. Can Veleza make this happen with the Persians against the Japanese? It is a rough matchup. Like, but I, I think you actually, usually it's it's if both players are in an even position, the Japanese have better units. To me, right now, you're actually in a position where you can just go skirms to clear up, you know, to defend things from the Cav Archers, and then you can even just go Hussar and start to raid. I think Ganji is so terrified that he's going to lose this game. He's going to try something wacky here, guys. He's going to try all in Castle Age Knights. Look at this. He is not going in because he's not even close to clicking up. Would really help him to have Wheelbarrow with all this eco, by the way. But it's so easy to forget some text here or there. He's got the towers here. He is going to have a stable here. So he wants to just keep his opponent off the gold. And here he's lost a lot of his Cav Archers. That's brutal. Can Velez see any of this? Not really. Knights with Japanese. Oh, man. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Plus two armors on the way. Big shot coming. Big attack round. You gotta expect it from Ganji. You don't have to expect it from Ganji. I'm incorrect. The knights are coming this way. The Manganel could come out, though. Maybe deny the castle. What a weird situation. And if Ganji gets the vision up on this area, could maybe raid that gold. But Veles is just getting there in time, and also in time to get that relic. The knights are gonna dive into the back eco. Crazy damage control from Veleza is needed here. This is wild. But again, he's using the same logic. Like, if he gets his castle up, then he can protect this, this gold and get his gold back. But he's also got this gold back. And he's also got the relic, but he's also losing villagers. And Ganji's not taking any losses at home. This, these trebs have an advance forward for Veleza. This might not actually be too bad for Ganji if he can continue to get some damage in. Plus two armor is in now. The castle. It's so close to going up. It is so, so ridiculously close to going up. It should still go up anyways. It will still go up, and those are a lot of units dead then for Ganji. And he'll lose towers. Over here, we've got more towers, actually. You know, there, there's the potential for knights everywhere. <laughs> here, we've got more towers from Ganji. Ganji's just gone crazy mode. He's just gone crazy mode. He says, forget a normal game. This is a tower game now. But can the towers do enough? He really might want those castles for later on. And Vlez is going to, again, just drop a castle. Castle beats tower every time. And he always has just enough. Here, his, castles, his castle was perfect. 
Here, his castle was perfect. And now here, his castle's perfect. All right, listen, Ganji. Can, can chat, can you just say deep breaths? Deep breaths, my friend. Stop producing bills. <sighs> just chill for a second, and your resources are gonna fly, my dude. Your resources are gonna just fly. This is still winnable. But what you don't want is <laughs> he tries to demo the trap. Oh, the villagers! The villagers on the trap! Go, 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 No! You might still be able to demo it. But, like, what you don't want is to stay in Castle Age for too much longer. There were raids here. Velez has had to react. Velez has had five hours of idle time in this game because of how crazy the pressure has been from Ganji. And finally, Ganji is on the way to him. But, like, Ganji has more access to gold. Ganji has more access to wood. Ganji has more villagers. I still think in some ways, like... Well, no, not in some ways. In a lot of ways, Japanese still have the better tech. These towers are still going to be a pain. He hasn't dealt with all of them, right? So a lot of your trebs will be there. And here come demos. And these demos are going for the trebs. And you need two demo hits on a treb to kill it. But if you get to the middle... Okay, he gets one of them. And that's not bad. 60 on food for Ganji right now. Could go light cav raids in the areas where there's not castles. Pretty soon there might be a castle everywhere. And now we have yet another demo here from Ganji. Now we're going to see. Look at this. Look at this. And that treb is not going to be killed. You have to fully wall in your trebs here, guys. And that's what he's done. I'm seeing Ganji over boom because of the stress of the moment. And it's not bad to have a big vil count and then realize later and then delete some. But it is concerning when, if it gets to a point where you really need army, 160 villager overboom can hurt you. Because he might end up having a big unit queue that he can't actually, you know, use. But I like his vision and his understanding of the map, knowing that this these golds on the right side will be a big factor. I'd like to see some outposting there. And, and also just the wood situation as well. He still has so much more access to it. So you want Heavy Cav Archer, you want Halb as your main two things as Japanese here. You get to that, Persians can really struggle. Guys, this would be a, a great time to remind you, and I probably shouldn't say this. But I did say that if we ever saw Heavy Demo researched on this map, that I would give 50 subs to the stream. And I'm with, with how much water is involved, and the fact that Persians get Heavy Demo... I could actually see Heavy Demo being an option for Veleza here. Japanese do not get that, but it's worth pointing out. Because I said, no, the game will never go on long enough. No one's going to ever get Heavy Demo because regular demos are good enough. Trap goes down. Trap goes down to the left. Light Cav are going to run into the back. Gate, 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 gate there from Veleza. Ganji, man. Just has so much chaotic energy here. So many things happening. How did Veleza do this, though? That's insane. That is just insane. Also still taking out these towers. What a ridiculous game, man. Look at this eco. How are they supposed to break each other when they're both playing like this? I like how found these villagers as well. Ganji has killed 97 villagers. He was an imp like 10 minutes after his opponent, but we are still somehow far from finished. Hussar upgrade is in for Veleza as he will look to raid. And now Ganji needs to make sure he has defensive castles. But he's not going to have much stone available for that. Because of all the towers he built in this game. And Japanese like have are good at killing Vils. They are not good underneath castle fire. They are not good up against Hussars. They lack that final armor. And I'm worried about some of these eco areas for Ganji right now. If he doesn't have castles. Having said that. Still finding villager kills from his opponent. And still always apply, applying pressure in different areas. Right side, too. Like, this this is an area he always seems to be keeping an eye on. We've got hand cannons and Hussar right now for Veleza. And we are even seeing stone walls here from Ganji. That is so smart. Winner here moves on to a best of seven to qualify for Hidden Cup 5. Be one of the main event players where their event identity will be hidden. The prize pool will be much larger. And of course, 
More eyes will be on them. Loser here is out. There is no second chance for the player who loses this. And it will be a heartbreak because of how close this has been. We've got Trebs on the way from Ganji. He's been trying to figure out which which side should I actually push here. Because it's been a raid game for a couple minutes. More than a couple minutes. And so he feels as though this castle is really the, way, the, the uh, position to start from. And he's got more and more Trebs on the way, like we said. So there needs to be a response from Veleza there. Raids from Veleza in the back. Pikeman will find them. It'll be Halb soon. We have Katapuruto! Both unique techs here for the Japanese. Let's go, Yasama Towers. And Katapuruto for the Trebs. That's a big tech. And Ganji's still raiding the sides. And Veleza's pop is kind of dropping. He doesn't have any access to gold right now. He is still going to be raiding, but the Yasama Towers are helping enough. If there were four Trebs here, you guys already know. Do not trickle Treb. You already know what I'm thinking. If there's four Trebs here, this castle's gone. Two Trebs? There's actually kind of a chance he holds it. He can get some Hussars over here. He can run and he can snipe this. But Ganji is bringing more Trebs. And he does have Katsapuruto. But this moment is huge. Because if the left side of his, this base is gone, there's no gold access for Veleza. And Veleza's out of stone and Veleza loses his castle. And the Bombard Cannons have been housewalled in by villagers. What? Two Bombard Cannons have been housewalled in by villagers and are being attacked by villagers. We have to replay this. What a play from Ganji. What a crazy, crazy play. Now, he might not end up killing them, unfortunately, because it's still villagers against Bombard Cannons. But they're blocked off. They've been like, what? Guys, he was doing a... He's doing everything else. We can't even do that if we're not looking at anything else. What a ridiculous play. And both the Bomber Cannons go down for a player who's basically not going, uh, got no gold income right now. Now he's going to try and get this gold. Like, this is the only gold that he can access right now. He's also going in with a little Vroom Vroom to ram that side. But, you know, at the moment, Velez is struggling. And... While his food eco's there, his wood eco's there, he's going to have to find a way to claw himself back into this game. The way to do that would be to raid this exposed area because there's no castles here. And actually, the wood for Ganji could be a real issue. And the thing about Cav Archers, guys, is they, they're really hard to stop, but they're one big group. And that group is always going to be in the same spot, right? But, I mean, this, this group is also in a very crucial spot right now. And as Velesa just repairs this TC and sinks more and more wood into repairs, it will eventually go down. I think if Ganji can just start to get more Lumberjacks on this side. And actually, this stone is critical because then he can build more castles. He needs safe wood right now. And I think he's realizing how concerning this is because the Hussars are streaming through. He's got enough army in queue. He's got enough on gold. It should be okay for him. And he can just slowly push around this left-hand side. But yeah, Veleza, unfortunately, you kind of got to avoid this. You can't just um, keep reacting to this because you're going to lose against it. You have to find other ways to get damage in. And this isn't completely walled up. And he almost finds a way through here, but Ganshi does realize this. Meanwhile, Trebuchet on the tower, guys. And Hussar's finding villager kills. This is crazy. But Ganji just marches on. We are at 190 population for both. There is so much on the line here. This is the biggest moment we've experienced so far in the qualifier. The Rams are actually taking out the towers over here. The Hussars are still finding some value towards the middle. But now Velez is losing his castle. The score is flipping back and forth. We've got Skirms here now for Velez, which we hasn't he hasn't had a lot of in a while. And that can help. Hussars are still finding some value here. I have to prefer Ganji's position, though. Even with no relics in the bank, he just has the better army, at least from what I can see. And he is at least actually sieging down areas of his opponent's economy. It is not just raids. But Ganji's got to make sure he's still producing bills. He's down to 111 right now. As we see Keep now! We see Keep! Even upgrading the towers. Does he even have that many left? He's got one tower. Okay, that's going to be a really strong tower. Good to know. Okay. 
Now, VC, he had to go for... He had to prioritize other things. So having keep earlier would have been great. He probably doesn't realize he only has one tower. Hey, he's got two! He has doubled the amount of towers! This Ganji player is incredible! Sometimes you just have to go for the slow crawl here, Ganji. Sometimes you have to be happy with your trebs, just pushing down the TCs and the barracks. I think trying to push up the hill could be ill-advised here against a player like Veleza. And Veleza, who's still not dead yet, will take out a trap. He's gonna go for the next one, but the bomber cannons go down! What just happened? Captain Peruto, who says bomber cannons are better than trebs, not Japanese trebs. Wow. Now there's still skirms, which could be great against the cav archers. There's trebs exposed here. It's it, The pop is so close, but most of the fighting is happening right here. An ambitious keep from, uh, from Ganji, but if he completes it, it could be good. He's not gonna complete it. He's down to 92 villagers, guys. Which means he's 30 bills behind his opponent right now, but he's got all the control. And Veleza might not know that Ganji's down the 90 villagers. He might think Ganji's at like 120 or 130 like he is. He's getting pushed. The cab archers are enough to stop these skirms. The, the treb actually stays up. And I'm sure there could be a villager on the way to finish the tower. And I think we have... I don't want to call it too soon. But I think Velez is going to tap out. He's at 145 pop, and Ganji is going to move on in this bracket. Another bomber cannon goes down to Trebs. There is no military that can stop this now. It is 90 army for Ganji. He has done it here. And he has played like such a beast. Again, there could be... If anyone says, uh, man, Velez, is, he must have underperformed. He underperformed today. Just go back and watch the games. I didn't, I'm saying this, I didn't even see the second game or the third game. But I saw the first game. I saw the fourth game, and I've seen the fifth game. And uh, Gaji has played amazing today. It is so easy to underperform as well when you are the underdog. And, you know, the favorite is such a consistent player like Veleza. But Veleza, I mean, he's trying, guys. He wants to so badly be back in Hidden Cup. Because that's just, like, kind of where he's belonged in previous Hidden Cups. He's finding some kills here, but guys, it's not going to be enough. He can't stop this. It is 90 army against 15. And you've got keeps protecting and, and patrolling this whole area. Ganji has got to be so pleased with himself. And I think he knows now. I actually think this is the point in the game. Shout out to that lady who fell off the edge of the earth. I think this is the point in the game where you actually know that you've actually done it. And the GG will probably be called soon. This is the last stand for Veleza. The Trebs will go down. And the castle will follow. And the GG is called. And Ganji wins against Veleza here. Ganji will move on. And Veleza will not be in Hidden Cup. Wow. Crazy performance from him. Salutes in chat for him. And I mean, the job's not done for him yet. The job's not done. But... I mean, this qualifier has $10,000 in it. So even if, you know, th this crazy run from Ganji can't continue, still going to get like 600 bucks, 650 bucks from the qualifier, which is already amazing. Um, and, and then, I mean, I said it before, you beat Veleza. And then who's to say you can't beat MBL or Kapoch if you run into them in that next round? And we'll look to the bracket because I think we have a moment to do so, but a crazy game. I mean, Ganji did this against Ozone 2. There's just this point in late Castle Age where Ganji just kicks it up a notch when it comes to chaos. Against Ozone, it was Castle Drops. But here it was Towers and Lycav and Knights and just... I mean, look at the difference in the imp times here. He was imp over 10 minutes after his opponent, but he still just had so much map control and it really was the gold. And, um... You know, I guess the stone as well in some ways, but... God, what a great game. I thought, like, type a one in chat if you thought it was over when Ganji started making knights in Castle Age and Veleza had a castle and he had trebs. At that point, I'm like, oh, God. He'll never be an imp. He'll never be able to get enough value from this. And he made it happen. And for Veleza, it was just like, any time he tried to move his trebs to take something out, he was losing one. I recall him losing one here. I recall him losing one uh, to demos, too. And also, the highlight, maybe of the entire game, I've got to go back and show you. Let's let's look at this. 
We, I mean, guys, this is just insane. Decider game, you're the underdog, right? And you're raiding in 16,000 different areas. And you know, you're just looking around, right? What are you doing? Oh, you're trebbing down a really important castle and getting some important technologies. He just happens to notice this and says, oh, I know what I can do here. Uh, how about this? Boom, boom, and then uh, boom. And then eventually both these bomber cannons end up going down. Like that's insane. <laughs> I mean, Veleza uh, may be a bit unfortunate with the pathing. I guess he wasn't paying attention to where they were going. But he and, and eventually kills those two cannons. And if those two cannons end up making it here, maybe the Trebs would have gone down faster. Maybe other things happen. And then who knows? Maybe Veleza ends up holding on. But congratulations to Ganji. Crazy, crazy stuff. But yeah, that means he is in the final round. And we'll see more from him. But Veleza's out.